Good evening, uh, art lovers. Uh, good evening, uh, traveling community. I'm filming from uh, Madre Museum. There is uh, a great exhibition tonight, the exhibition of uh, Robert Trollope. So um, I'll take you around, show you around. We're going to have a look. Lots and lots of people uh, have come because the opening night is free of charge. So above all, it's a social occasion. A guy who uh, pushed the envelope on uh, homosexuality with his photograph. Here we have uh, a study of uh, feet anatomy on one side, and on another side a photograph of uh, two male feet. Here we have uh, two um, male uh, mummies obviously embracing each other. Society in uh, Italy is uh, quite bourgeois, so I'm just wondering how far this exhibition will go, as in uh, male-on-male erotica. They look a little bit like sword fences. This is uh, one of uh, the exceptions uh, to his work. Uh, the subject is uh, clearly female a female uh, bodybuilder, so arguably uh, the best of both bodies, male and female. Muscle and uh, softness. Here is uh, one of the things that um, aesthetic uh, surgery can't really change about a man's body. The shape of a neck, but it's a nipple. The photographer is uh, clearly uh, teasing us. We'd uh, like the guy to rise a little bit and let us see just a little bit more, just a little bit more. Seduction is also the art of uh, concealment. The printing process uh, must have been uh, extremely complicated. So uh, we have a print on uh, silver gel. The heat transfer print, or whatever that may be. Uh, but anyway, uh, interestingly, uh, Robert uh, treats the statue as if it were a real model. You might mistake uh, the statue uh, to be David, uh, but it's not David, it's actually Antinor. Antinor was uh, the lover of the Roman Emperor Adrian, so uh, when Antinor died, uh, Adrian was so much in love with him that he commissioned multiple statues of a boy. This is uh, the picture um, of uh, a model covered uh, in clay, so it looks exactly like uh, one of the Roman bronzes uh, from uh, Pompeii's time. This uh, picture is uh, quite extraordinary. Uh, the model is uh, black and uh, it's uh, black skin on uh, a black background so that uh, it looks a little bit like uh, the invisible man because the flesh uh, kind of disappears and uh, only the white trousers uh, stand out. Male uh, ballet dancer is uh, also on the flyer of the exhibition. This is a series of uh, five pictures. Uh, we have a boy with uh, horns, a Jesus, skull and bones, a woman, and uh, again the same boy in the nude with flowers. Detail, sacrifice, pain, and beauty, death, sorrow and grieving over the death, and uh, beauty with uh, the flowers uh, that uh, symbolize uh, purity. Here uh, again uh, we have uh, the Holy Cross sitting uh, in uh, the middle of a female uh, breast. I must say uh, I like the composition here because of how amazingly essential it is. It's called mountain and uh, it's a rock in the middle of the sea.
I'm tempted to say it's the Faraglioni of the island of Capri, but to be honest, I don't know. This is a, a portrait of uh, Lucio Amelio. Lucio Amelio was uh, an amazing uh, curator and uh, gallerist uh, of Naples. Uh, his uh, golden age, uh, so to speak, was uh, in the 80s. And he managed uh, to attract uh, all sorts of uh, artists, uh, persuade them to come to Naples and uh, let Naples have uh, a sort of uh, cultural uh, and artistic renaissance.